Hi, this is your instructor, Teresa Pelkey. Welcome to our class. Welcome to our next class. In this class, we will look at jQuery plugins. Plugins exten extend the functionality of the jQuery language. Actually, they are pre-written jQuery code that add features for almost any conceivable task. They are part of the jQuery language, but many plugins are also written by the community. So essentially, we have copy and paste code that we configure to our desires. Plugins are used for displaying images, for creating slideshows, carousels, galleries, menus, navigation, tooltips, and any other thing that you might need some functionality for. They're especially useful in, for forms and in validation. You can pl find plugins at the jQuery plugins repository. There are also other code repositories where you can find plugins, such as GitHub and Google. Most of the time, the plugin will have a demo, so you can actually see how it works sample code that you can use in order to learn how it works, and tutorial or instructions so that you understand the different parameters that you can use to configure the plugin. You add a plugin to your website by first downloading the code. This code must be included in your web code and in the HTML document you would include it with the HTML script tag. Because this plugin references J the jQuery library you also need the core jQuery library to run it. So you also need a reference to the jQuery library as we have been doing all along. Now the, the, the script tag that references the plugin code must appear after the script tag that references the jQuery library. Some plugins may contain multiple JavaScript files. And in that case, you want to make sure that those files are all in the same folder. And if you are referencing them using the script tag, you want to make sure that your path is correct. Here again, when you download a, plug a plugin, not only will it come with the, the files needed, but it may also come with a demo code, such as an index.html file. It will also come with any other assets, such as additional CSS files and images if needed. Usually, you will see these assets um, in, a, in, in, in their respective folders. So, you, so when you open up the plugin, it may automatically install into folders such as we see here. The jQuery user interface is another part of the jQuery language um, that extends the jQuery li library. The, the interface provides themes, widgets, interactions, and, and effects. Now widgets are similar to plugins. Here again, when you're using a component from the jQuery UI, you still need the core jQuery library in order for the components to run. There are four basic types of components in the jQuery UI. Themes, which have to do with colors, borders, padding, fonts, etc. Widgets, which are actually self-contained little components, and widgets are very similar to plugins. Common types of widgets are accordions, tabs, sliders, date pickers. I interactions. All these nice drag and drop, resize, sort types of interactions we see on the web page can be easily customized using the jQuery UI component. Finally, effects. For example, the ability to animate a color 
or to do certain types of transitions that are not able to be accomplished with the basic jQuery library can be accomplished with the jQuery UI or sometimes with a third-party plugin. Now interactions can be applied to any HTML element. Effects must be used with a widget or an interaction. And themes have to do with that widget or component. You find these components at jQueryUI.com. And here again, most of the components will have a demo, sample code that you can copy it to understand, and a tutorial or some kind of instructions explaining to you how the component works and all the different parameters so that you can customize it. Using the jQuery UI is a bit different than using a plugin. Normally, you just download the plugin code and then you install it. However, with the jQuery UI, you have to first build the download before you actually download it. And this is done at the Download Builder page, where you actually specify which components you want and possibly set the themes that you would want for that component. The jQuery UI also comes with what is called the Theme Roller. And this is a powerful theming engine that allows you to create a theme for your website by allowing you to select different colors, fonts, drop shadows, etc. to match those that you might have on your website. You can use a pre-existing theme. The jQuery UI has about 25 pre predefined themes or you can create a custom theme from scratch. Here again, a custom theme might better match your website. And this is a this is the URL for the theme roller. So I am looking at the jQuery plugin registry website and as you can see um, on the home page it features the newer plugins. On the left hand side there are some tags that are used to categorize the different types of plugins. You can also search for example, if I wanted to search for a tooltip, here I have a nice result. And if I wanted to find out more about that, this is my tooltip. It talks about who created it, gives me a little bit more description, tags used, versions information on downloading, documentation, bugs, try a demo. So if I click on try a demo, there we are with our little tooltip here. And here again it gives you nice documentation on how to configure this so that it works in the manner in which you would like it to work. You can also publish your own plugins should you get to that point. On the web, you can just search for something that you're looking for. For example, the light box effect. And this light box effect, as you see here, eight years later, still going strong, is the demo that I'm using in the uh, sample code. And one thing about some of these plugins they might use older versions of jQuery, which is fine, because it will come with the uh, zip file for that plugin. So here we have a little bit of an image set. And notice how nice the images don't have to be the same size. Documentation explains to you exactly how to use it. So here is my, and as I said, notice we have some images here. So sometimes these plugins will come with images. And now we'll close. So here again, you can just search on Google. And I've come across a flex slider. And here it is. We can download it. There's the live demo. There's actually the demo here. Uh, there's more information. 
This is a fully responsive jQuery slider toolkit. And very similar to something you would see on a, a home page of a lot of websites. So there are thousands of plugins ready for you to use on your website. Here we are at the jQuery UI website. And here again, information on the home page. On the left hand side, here we have some categorization of the types of components. There's our interactions, widgets. And if I scroll down a little bit more, there on the left, there's the effects and some utilities. So supposing I wanted to look at an accordion, very similar to what we've been doing in our class, our collapse and expand. I also can look at a date picker. We've been using these for years. And traditionally, they were probably used, uh, created using traditional JavaScript. Uh, but jQuery, I'm sure, it makes it a lot easier to implement. And finally, if I were to look at some the tooltip, remember some of the widgets on the jQuery UI are also exist as plugins on the uh, plugin repository. Here we have uh, the tooltip. All right, so um, jQuery gives us not only an easy to use language, but a lot of already composed functionalities that we can easily implement on our websites. And this is your final project, plugin or a component of your choice. And see the handout for more information.